Hello everyone, I am Yash Patel and welcome to my channel Django World. So in today's video, we are gonna design our website. Okay, it is gonna be very simple design. We will add bootstrap and some classes and we are good to go. Okay, so let's get started. So first, I'll close this both file. We don't need that. And I'll go to the browser and here I'll say bootstrap, get bootstrap com and i'll go to docs now here we have this get started template okay so i'll just copy that one go to vs code go to base.html and i'll paste that one over here now here in the title tag we will create block and here it's gonna be title okay now here instead of this hello world we will create one more block okay which is gonna be content content okay good now after doing this we just need to copy this one come to home.html now paste that one but before that let me write extends base.html this is very important now here we can say home okay now we will go back copy this block come to home.html paste that block over here and we can say this or let's say h1 home okay and here we can give class equals to let's say text center now let me run the server just to see the changes so i'll say python manage.py run server you can see we got home in the center all right now let's go back to get bootstrap.html i mean get bootstrap website sorry my bad and here we will find the navigation bar okay here it is nav bar now we can select this one okay i'll just select this and uh, come to this uh, base.html because navigation bar is gonna be same everywhere okay so i'll just paste this navigation bar above this block so I'll just paste that one over here okay now here I want my navigation bar to be dark so let me see what theme it has got okay let's say dark it's nothing okay navbar dark or uh, let's say i don't know what class we need to write i'll just search yeah it's navbar dark just copy that class okay we have that one over here i'll just copy this class is over here and paste them over here excellent refresh okay so what else we need to do and the data bs theme dark okay let me add that too come over here refresh and everything is working fine now let's okay let's not waste time let's jump right to the primary background and instead of dark here I can say primary okay and I will just delete this one and I'll also delete this one we don't need that just refresh and here it is okay dark theme is working I guess sorry yeah dark theme is working but there is some mistakes while including the 
class is so let me go and i will say this class so i'll just copy that class paste that over here and refresh okay now it's working perfectly fine and here instead of this primary you can say dark and i think it should be fine yes dark theme is working okay now here i can say d w which is django world and here it's home it's fine and here i will say url and here i will write home and instead of this features i can write employee employee and here i will write url and i'll go to urls.py and copy this name come to base.html paste that one over here and we will remove these two links we don't need that come refresh let's go to employee employee link is working fine home is also working fine everything is working good now here let's copy this one because we need to add that over here too sorry reload it if i click on dw it's working okay now it's time to change the employee template okay i'll just control x over here and i will say extends base.html okay i'll paste that one over here go to home.html copy this go to employee.html paste that one here instead of home i will write employee okay and i will just end this block done refresh now if i go to employee you can see we are in the employee now here there is one more thing to change okay let's go to base here wrap this both block i mean this block only into one div tag div okay now here in the inside this div tag i'll say class equals to container refresh now see the magic okay now let's go to employee i will say class equals to text hyphen center and here in the button i'll plus i'll pass class equals to let's say btn btn hyphen primary refresh you can see we got the button now let it be this form like this we are gonna apply css i will show you widgets in the further video at that time we will learn how to apply css to these fields and to input fields too okay so for now we have designed this amazing uh, website it's not amazing i know but it's minimal good looking design so if i say um john and his salary is 75 rupees and if i click on submit you can see we are redirected to the page actually and we are getting this response it, which says the data is saved in the database so let's go to admin panel see okay we have two entries so yeah our website is working after applying the design so yeah this is it for today's video guys if you like my video please like share and subscribe to my channel and i will see you in the next one thank you